Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, and I'm going to be playing some SteamWorld Quest. I've never played this game before, I did play the previous SteamWorld games, uh, Dig 1 and 2 and Heist, all of which were very, very good. Uh, I liked the Dig games better, they were like Metroidvania sort of style. Heist was a turn-based strategy game, I guess. I think this one's a different genre again, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Uh, but yeah, Steam World Quest, Hand of Gilgamesh. Uh, let's see how it goes. Yep. <laughs> We've got a little flippy book there for the loading. Ba -ba -ba. That's pretty. Uh, we've got some options, let's see. Do you want to adjust some things? Ooh, you can ring up the controls, that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess the defaults are probably fine. Start. Uh, file 1. Uh, I guess I'll go with Knight. I've never played the game before, so I don't know how difficult it is. Um, but let's try it out and see how we go. So yeah, the Steam World games, Time it's sort of a... For bed, son. Oh, Dad, tell me a story first. You can see there's all these robots. It's like uh, a steampunk... Steampunk sort of western no, sort of vibe, I guess? Story. I want to hear about dragons and knights in shining armor. Dragons, you say? Well, it looks like we're going for a D&D &D well, sort of vibe now. Then we have to go <laughs> To the age of heroes. When our world was still young and innocent, the gods grew born and forged a heart of evil. Oh and no! It in the chest of a Dang it, the gods! <laughs> a true hero was called upon, and Is that by his the corrupted heart of the monster was I mean, there's a sword, but such shovel knife could hold swords. Where it could do no harm. Over the years, his heroic deeds fell into obscurity. Oh In no! Sun, heroes of fortune spread across the land like a shadow. But there was still light to be found. Our story begins with two such lights. Two friends strolling okay, well, they through look pretty the forest cute. in search of a mushroom. So this is a Mario game? Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a mushroom. All done. The knight and the alchemist. I don't know if the game is fully voiced or just these cutscenes. Or I like I like the voice acting. It's good. Uh. Slow time's a little frustrating, but it's not a big deal. I can, I can, I can cope with the occasional long load. Okay, something's going on behind that tree. Oh my gosh, it's got like Banjo Kazooie talking noises. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is cute. Look how cute Copernica is, oh my gosh. Let you go. Bring back Copernica. Oh, okay. So it's just like she's in my party. Uh, I just pressed uh, X to open that menu. Looks like I can check 
Okay, so this is definitely a sort of role-playing game. You can say everyone's got like a health bar and experience and various stats. Uh, so I guess I'll see how we go. Uh, I can walk around like this. I can't change speed by pressing any of the buttons while it looks at things. Pressing A lets me swing my sword, which is kind of cool. Uh, oh, I can switch characters with L and R. Okay, that's better. Let's go. Uh, I don't seem to be able to run or anything, which is a bit weird. Oh, there we go. There we go. If you press uh, ZR, you run. Cool. Alright. They're the wrong mushrooms, aren't they? Yeah. Double dang. <laughs> Ooh, money. Okay, I'm guessing we have to do some combat, because there's these robots here. Are we fighting because he got insulted? <laughs> Punch cards. Each turn you'll draw up to six cards. These cards represent abilities your heroes can use. You can use up to three cards to play each turn. The cards will be lined up on top of the screen. When you have with the cards, you like to press the finish turn button. Okay. This feels a little bit like a Paper Mario sticker star, and that's not good. Um, but I don't think you actually consume these cards by using them. I think you just... These all do. Uh, if I press minus, I get information. Okay, so that just does damage. What does this one do? Oh, that, that heals her up. Okay. Um, book bash. That has Copernica whack people with books. Okay, so I think I always want to use two regular attacks. Uh, attack. Attack. Uh, attack. There we go. So will that, if I defeat that one robot, will I attack the other one? Maybe. Let's find out. Oh, we won't defeat it anyway. I'm not doing that much damage. I just noticed that there's actually a number on those, just how much damage they do. Ooh. Scary. Okay, so that'll be all new hand. Ooh. Okay, I've got some good kinds of cards here. Strike, upgrade, and skill. Strike, there you go, let's do damage. Upgrade, yep. They'll up steam pressure that can be spent to play powerful skill cards. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Okay, so that, that's my magic ability. So I can spend one of these. Um, I can use that, or I can use both of these. Let's see. What is that? Does that damage both of them? Yeah, I think I should probably use Flame Wave. That sounds good. Uh, and then let's use uh, a Book Bash. What's Mana Barrier do? Damage Shield. Let's give our Millie a Damage Shield. Goodbye, robot. Huh, interesting. Okay, so I got some more cards. Uh, each strike upgrade card generates one SP. Here is a shared pool of SP. Skill cards are very versatile and powerful. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. It's uh, a flame pillar, dude. That's a good trick. Just one attack's probably enough, actually. Oh, not quite. There we go. Okay, so that's a pretty simple combat system. I like it. Uh, the card-based structure, like, it's going to keep things interesting, strategic. Uh, you still have the same sorts of items. Trashium was in um, Steamworld Dig, so that's cool. So are Amelie and, and uh, Copernic are like girlfriends? Because that would be really cute. Adventurous grocers, grocers still aims for a membership of the local chapter of the hero girl. In pursuit of her dream to be just like her idol, the true ancient hero Gilgamesh. And it doesn't say if they're dating. I'm gonna assume they are, but it's just that's probably probably the case. 
it's kind of cool that both of the protagonists are cute girls. Gotta say. <laughs> uh, head back here. Is there anything over here? It doesn't look like it. Ooh, treasure. Oh, look how happy she is. I don't know what it is. Repair vial. Okay, oh, so that heals us, I'm assuming. Outside of combat, automatically revived and cured of negative status conditions at the end of each battle. Okay. They kind of playing a card for this turn. It says supplies are limited. Does that mean I can't buy them? No, I can buy them from merchants. Okay. Alright. I'm a little confused as to what their point is there, but alright. We'll just cut our way through there. There we go. More of those pint sized troublemakers. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so I can sneak up and hit them from behind, basically. Uh, I don't know if I managed to hit or not. I, I think I messed that up. You can redraw cards you don't have to two times each turn. Okay, so you can replace cards you don't want by redrawing them. Okay. So I reckon I should redraw these ones because I can't play them yet and I won't be able to for a little while. Like that, which gives me more heroic strikes and things, which is good because heroic strikes are good. Does this increase damage? Heals Amelie by 57% magic and raises her strength by one grave for three turns. Well, she, doesn't, she does need healing, actually, so let's play Bravado first, and then use Heroic Strike. Hey, leave, leave her alone. really cute. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have another bravado. Does that raise her strength higher if I use it twice? Maybe. Let's find out. I don't think it did. That's a bit of a waste then. Yeah, I think it raised it more than one, which is a bit annoying. I probably need to heal up by the girl. What's her name? God. Um, Copernica. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go, Copernica. Cool. Got <laughs> cute glasses. Got some more money. Did that take out all of them? Yeah, it looks like it did. Okay, so I've, I might need to heal up a bit. Because, yeah, Copernic is low on health. Let's give her one. There we go. Look at them cuties. Okay, I'm gonna cut these down. Okay, so there's a little bit of an active battle system, like in the Mario RPGs, uh, which is nice. Where, you know, like you can do first encounters and stuff. Uh, that looks dangerous. I'm not sure I'm equipped to fight that yet. Let's go down this way. Look, Copernica. Okay, so that's Gilgamesh? Okay. Are they like... What do they do? Do they do something cool? <laughs> Cute. 
hero statues. Okay, so you save by interacting with these. Okay. But it also heals you, so I kind of wasted that healing item a second ago. Uh... Well... Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I don't need to heal just now. I'll keep that in mind, though. That's the mushroom we're looking for, right? Yay! Did she just eat it? Oh no. Oh my goodness. It's a big mushroom. <laughs> Gomphus. Okay, so this is the first boss battle, I assume. Damage comes in five elements. Physical, fire, frost, storm, and arcane. Alright, I guess that makes sense. Some elements have seen natural resistances. Yep. Well, I don't know what they're resistant to. It doesn't tell me. Uh, let's redeal that one. There we go. Well, I only have physical attacks here. I guess I'll use a bravado and then two heroic strikes and see how that goes. I like how there's like no randomness involved here in terms of how you like. Well, I mean there's randomness. These cards are randomized, but you know exactly how much damage you're gonna deal, rather than that being opaque as it is in some games. So you can predict what's gonna happen when you do an attack, sort of thing. Oh my goodness. Um. on a barrier and, and a couple of attacks like this. Ugh. My goodness. Okay, we've got some more powerful attacks now. Flame Wave does 20 damage. We don't want to use it though, uh, because there's only one enemy here and this does more damage and it's cheaper. So I think I want to reshuffle out that Flame Wave. Ooh, Brave Buster. That sounds good. Detail. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let's see. Use that, and we'll use fire pillar. I'm guessing this mushroom is weak to fire because plants. It makes sense to me anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Poison? Oh no. A status effect. Yeah, that makes sense. So we wanna... Well, I guess we don't really wanna use these book bashes, so I'll shuffle them out and see what else I get. It didn't really help much. Just a bravado. And... Heroic strike. And a fire pillar? I guess. I wish I had some more leveling before I reach the boss battle, because I'm not that powerful yet. What? Oh no, little mushrooms! <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, we can use a Brave Buster. Uh, and we can use another Fire Pillar. And can we use a Minor Barrier on Copernica? Yeah, let's do that. Those guys don't do much damage. Um, okay, so we've got. Let's see. We can use a Brave Buster. We can. Let's already shuffle out this Book Brash and make something better. Ooh, Flame Wave. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Given what enemies we have here. Um, 
but it uses up three blobbles. But I can get some more if I use something else first, right? Like, um, Heroic Strike, for example. I will have four blobbles, but I won't have five. If I use two Heroic Strikes and then a Flame Wave, I should have enough to use the Brave Buster next turn. That, that should be a trick. There we go. Now I get through the little ones. Ugh. We need to heal Copernica. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let me see. There. Uh, we'll do that first, and then... Uh, let me see. I use another Brave Buster. I can't use Flame Wave yet. But if I use something like a... Mana barrier like that. I should be able to use Flame Wave after that. I don't think Flame Wave's the best move though. Uh, let's reshuffle out some of these. You can get something better. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, there we are. Fire Pillar. That sounds good. Let's use that. Okay, so heal up first. Then throw in a barrier. And then Fire Pillar. Which will do a decent amount of damage. Okay, so let's use Bravado, uh, and then... Uh, a heroic Strike and then a Brave Buster, I guess? Um, I thought about using Flame Wave, but there's only one enemy there, so it probably wouldn't make much sense. Okay, then they're going to do call family, and then I'll use a flame wave to get rid of the family that show up. Uh, but I need a bit more power to do that, obviously. Uh, so let's let's see. Let's start with another mana barrier. There we go, and then I can do a flame wave, and I can follow that up with uh, a heroic strike. There we go. Warcry do? Oh, it boosts their damage, right? Okay, that makes sense. What have I got? Uh, I've got Revado, but I don't really need it. Uh, I've got Flame Pillar, which is useful. Let's use Heroic Strike twice, and then a Flame Pillar, I guess? That's not good. Um, can I can I resurrect my, my fallen friend or is that not a thing? Uh, hmm. Okay, well let's use Brave Buster and Heroic Strike and Heroic Strike. 37, uh, let's see. Is that enough? 48, yeah that is enough. Um, hopefully it's okay if one of my heroes falls. Okay, yeah, she's fine. Okay. And she gets experience. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so we heal up. We actually leveled up a couple of times, which is cool. Uh, we got a bunch of cool stuff. <laughs> I'm convinced they're girlfriends. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so that's the whole chapter. Okay. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to keep playing. I'm really enjoying chapter this. Two. It's nice. The village of Goose Bucket. Goose Bucket? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do, 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 do. I'm guessing that we can buy like potions and stuff in here. Hmm. Mysterious merchant, yeah. Oh, we got some extra cards. Okay, that's cool. Does that just get, get added to our deck automatically, or...? I don't know if there's a deck building aspect to this game or not. Yes, there is deck building. Let's check it out. Uh, okay, so each, each character has a separate deck. Okay, I see. Okay, you have exactly eight cards in each hero's deck. Oh, I see how it works. Okay, okay, I get it. Um, hmm. Okay, so the deck's over here. We have four Heroic Strikes, two Bravados, two Brave Busters. So I reckon if I take out a Heroic Strike and put Shout in instead, that might be a good idea. Yeah, I think so. Uh, what other cards did I get? I uh, might take out a book bash and put in a creeping cold. Uh, still got room for another card. Maybe I didn't have enough to begin with or something. Uh, might leave book bash in actually. There we go. Okay, so yeah, you get to pick. You get to use duplicates of each card to get it up to eight. Okay, cool. I like it. I'm not sure if there's much point to switching heroes like this. Like they both do the same basic thing outside of battle, so it's cute though. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh oh spaghetti yo. Oh no, something's on fire. That's not good. So did the village catch fire? What's going on? Put it out with my sword? My book? No, apparently not. <laughs> Canary. Oh my gosh, budge. Are they little like are they little budgery guards inside those suits? Because that that's funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they're the villains, I'm guessing. <laughs> Get it reshuffle the world because it's a card game. Okay, I should reshuffle some of these that cost... Uh, maybe I don't need to. I'll start with a shout, which works on everyone. And that'll give me... Oh right, that's a special, it just doesn't... Okay. If I do that, I can then go... What's Creeping Cold do? One foe and an equal amount for another random foe. Well, there's two of them, so it's got to be the other foe it hits, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'll just weaken them a little bit with that, and then if we use Creeping Cold, we should be able to damage both of them. Yeah. Okay, so... Um... That went okay. Let's 
just use bravado. Uh, and then, hmm. Maybe a book bash and then a brave buster? Yeah, that sounds good. It's like it is kind of hard to heal up in this game, between battles and stuff, which is a little annoying, but I guess it sort of makes sense. Uh, if we use Bravado again, uh, then I'll do a Heroic Strike. Did it actually increase my damage? Or... It doesn't look like it did, which is weird. I would have thought it would. So that was the point of it, actually. Uh, then I'll maybe a Fire Pillar in this one. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have increased our damage, which is weird. Intimidate, just like in Pokemon, appears to just drop your attack a little bit. <laughs> Same basic move. Uh, let's see, let's see. If I use a Mana Barrier on Tapanica because she needs a bit more protection, basically. She's a little lower health. Uh, use one of those, then heroic strike that guy, I guess. Ooh, critical hit. Nice. I'm not really sure what a counter stance does, I'm a little concerned. Uh... I don't think a book bash will be enough, so I guess I'll just do something like this. I don't know what counter stance does, it doesn't seem to have done any damage to me or anything, so. Yay! A friend! It's a froggo! <laughs> look, at, look at that froggo! Oh my god! Is Gallo a party member now? Get Gallio? Okay, cool. It's gonna help me out. These sunflowers are immune to swords, in case you were wondering. Ooh, chest. What's a badge do? Oh, okay, so I can equip stuff. So, let's have a look. What's it do? It boosts health, magic, and strength. Same thing for everyone. Uh, I guess... I don't know who I want to give it to. Maybe Copernicus, because she has the least health. There we go. It's a little teddy bear there. Doesn't seem to do much, though. I'm hoping the game opens up a bit more. Like, in terms of being, you know, a regular RPG with an overworld and stuff. Here's the baker. Uh, I don't know which way's the... Oh, that's a battle. Uh, I guess I'll go the other way. It's kind of hard to tell which way is the intended way and which way is a side path. Uh, I'll try this way, maybe. Okay, we got more stuff going on now. Heroic Chains. If you try to play at least three cards from the same hero, in the same turn, you perform a heroic chain and a follow-up effect into the chain. Ends on the weapon the hero has, has equipped. 
Okay, so I need to play three cards that belong to the same hero, which is determined by the colour of the card. So if I do a mana barrier on Copernica and another one on um, a Millie, and then I do Creeping Cold on one of these field mages, that should give me the chain effect, right? Yes. Barrier field, I think that's what I just did, only... I don't think that really helped me that much, but it's okay. You might have, like, buffed the barrier up even more, which would be useful. I'm not sure. Okay, what have we got here? Well, we need a lot more steam power to do that, so we can't use that chain. Uh, let's play Bravado, I reckon, to buff up our melee a little bit. And then we can do a Fire Pillar and a Book Bash. I should make it to play more than three cards later on because it said at least three cards makes a, makes a chain. So maybe I'd get to play like four or more at once. That would be cool. Okay, they have healing magic. That that sucks. Um, hmm. Does Mend heal everyone? One ally per turn, 40 magic. Hmm. Let's come in like a wrecking ball. Yeah. I have a lot of red ones, I can probably do like a, like a Shout, and then Heroic Strike, and then a Brave Buster. That should give me another chain. Yep, Lionheart. Sounds good. Fire looks pretty powerful, wow. Okay, we got some more. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, if I lead with a Steam Punch, that'll unlock a few other things I can do. Mm. I don't think I have enough stuff of different colours to be able to do it, of the same colour to do a good chain. So let's just do something like this. There we go. I did the trick anyway. Boop. Money on me. Okay, so is this the side area or the main area? It looks like the side area because this is the end of this path. Ooh. Some new cards that I can use for uh, Galio's deck, I think. Yeah, so Steam Punch, Mend, Wrecking Ball. And shields up is what I got, I think. Raise the allies' physical defense. Neat. <sighs> I guess I'll play to the next hero statue and then stop there. I don't want to make this video too long. Did I actually get hit him before they spotted me that time? I'm not sure. Foes. Yeah, I did get a little bit of damage in, that's cool. Um, well, let's use a, a Shout, and a Bravado, and a Heroic Strike. Chain, yeah! <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, what do we got? Uh, got like two of each color, basically. So we can't do any chains this turn, but that's okay. Uh, use another bravado to buff up our strength again after that last attack. Then... We can do a Wrecking Ball. Let's Steam Punch and then Wrecking Ball that guy. Okay, we have lots of blues now, so we can use, say, a mana, mana barrier. Or, hmm, let me think. If I book bash, and then I use two flame pillars in a row, that's a chain. There we go. <laughs> and yeah, I just attack the other player, uh, the other opponent, if I take one out, we're gonna attack, which is good. And I can barrier field to heal everyone up and block everyone from being hurt, which is handy. Okay, we're doing well. Uh, and I'm getting the hang of this, I really like it. It's good, it's a good game. Uh, let me see here. I'm gonna shuffle Flame Wave around. Okay, so I do Steam Punch, Steam Punch, Mend. Then that will give me a chain. Who needs mending the most? Uh, Kapanika. I still don't know what Counter Stance actually does. Uh, we got, we got Steam Punch, we got Book Bash, we got Heroic Strike. Got Wrecking Ball. Uh, we have two blues, so if I shuffle around some of these other ones I can't use, I might get... Hmm, doesn't look like it. I think I'll just probably do a bunch of attacks in this turn, like this. Oh, okay, so they can counter-attack certain types of attack, or...? Maybe it's like random whether they can do it or not. I'm not sure. Anyway, like a book bash is enough, so I'm just gonna do something like that, I reckon. There we go. And none of this other stuff matters now, because the battle's over. Level four. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a hero statue here soon. Maybe not though. Okay, well it's just over here, so let's get that. Ooh, Gigaton Punch, that's cool. A tag team combo. Oh, okay. So you can use two cards together. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what's going on over here? <laughs> this game's writing is a thing. I'm trying to like hide behind these crates so I can sneak up behind them, but it's not quite working. There we go. Okay, I can do three steam punches in a row, so I think I probably will. Good start. It's interesting that a steam punch doesn't need any steam pressure to work. And that gives me Guardian. Which heals everyone a little bit and gives us better defenses. And we get a bunch of new cards because I spent all of those. There we go. I can use Bravado twice. There's not much reason to, though. Or I can use two Fire Pillars, which just looks pretty good. And then something else. Maybe a Shout. Oh, 
Oh, they can counter magical attacks? Okay, I, th I figured it would just be physical attacks. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? We got, we got a Steam Punch. We got a couple of Wrecking Balls. Uh, a couple of Bravados. It'd be really cool if I could use both Wrecking Balls, but I probably can't. Uh, I guess we'll use both the Bravados like that. It doesn't make much sense, but I get the chain, so may as well. Does the chain thing actually give you another um, steam point? I'm not sure. Looks like it doesn't. That's a bit disappointing. Okay, what do we got to work with? Lots and lots that we can't play right now. Uh, we use a steam punch on there and then a mend. Uh, then I guess. Hang on, who are we mending? He needs mending, uh, Copernica. And then Heroic Strike, I guess? Galio, like that, and then do a Book Bash. And then we can use that to do a Wrecking Ball over here. Bam. Okay. Uh, what have we got? Okay, we've got a bunch of blue ones. Let me see. Let me see. Well, we'll start with another mana barrier. Let's put it on there. Uh, I think we use a creeping cold. We'll be out of cards we can play. But I can shuffle some of these around, right? Uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, if we use a book bash and then a creeping cold, we get the chain. Yeah! Uh, we do get counter-attacked, which isn't good. Uh, but we can deal. I'm not sure that was totally worth it, but okay, whatever. Okay, heroic strike, heroic strike, grave buster. Yeah! Let's go! Victory! Yeah! This is really fun. I, I like this game a lot. It plays extremely differently to the previous games in the series, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, there's a hero statue. Okay, I'm probably gonna stop about here. Uh, I'm gonna get this chest, whatever's in it, some repair vials. I'm gonna rest up here. Yes. And then I'm probably gonna call it a call it a day. It's been about an hour or well, 45 minutes, 40, 40, f about 50 minutes according to my uh, stream recording timer. So probably gonna call that it for the moment. What does that chain do? Hang on, card details, combo. Is that that's a uh, that's Armily, right? Yeah. So yeah, I could use a red one and then I do that and it would increase the damage of the Gigaton Punch. Cool. Cool. Uh, anything about all this fire? Doesn't look like it. Okay, uh, so thoughts on this game. Um, I'm not too far into it. I'm a little frustrated by the like the level design of sorts. It, it's very linear seeming. Uh, it looks like there's a couple of different 
area maps I can look at? I don't know if I can if I can actually backtrack to the first area or not. Maybe I can. Maybe it, it opens up a bit more later on. Uh, since there's a map like that, I'm guessing it probably does. Uh, I'm looking forward to that because I would like it to be bigger than it is. Uh, difficulty, that's fine. Okay, so there's a chapter select option. Okay, I see. Uh, I think it's a little too linear, uh, considering it's a role-playing game. Generally, what you have in a role-playing game, you, know, you have a fairly linear story, but you have a more open overworld instead of lots of corridors like this. Uh, which I find a little confining, I suppose. I don't know if the game maybe opens up later. I hope it does. Uh, but because it's a chapter structure, I'm guessing it probably doesn't. Uh, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, the actual combat, though, is really fun. Um, this deck building system is great. It's it's very simple, but there's a lot of depth there in terms of what you want to put into your decks and all that. And what cards you draw or what happens. It's good. Uh, Amelie and Copernica are both cuties and I ship it. Look at those, look at those girlfriends. <laughs> Such dorks. Uh, this guy's a dork also, but not as cute. Uh, I don't know what that one does. We'll find out later. Uh, the visuals are really nice. I like the... It looks like hand-drawn, maybe? I'm not sure, but it looks really nice. Uh, and the story, it look, I'm interested in the story so far. I, I like the world of SteamWorld games, and I think it's very charming. And I like how they've retrofitted this sort of swords and sorcery aesthetic onto it. Uh, it looks really good. Um, what else? What else? What else can I say? <laughs> um, I, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Uh, I also like how you can switch heroes even though it doesn't do anything. It's pretty cute. Look at those little legs. Look, she's going in on tiptoes. Oh, look at that cutie. Oh my gosh. I ship it. I ship it so much. Look at look at these look at these ladies. They're in love. <laughs> cute. Um, I feel like there could be a bit more direction about what's the main path and what's the side path. In most RPGs, it's pretty obvious, you know, you're trying to go to this spot, but if you find any branching paths off of that, you know that that's, you know, a side path with some hidden stuff. And you usually don't accidentally go into, you know, a boss battle or something without tra checking out every path first. Here, I think it's a little vague uh, where you're supposed to be going so when you want to go go on all the side paths, it's hard to make sure you don't miss anything. Uh, a little weird that the controls ugh, for movement is so like completely digital. Like I'm tilting the analog just a tiny bit, and I'm run I'm going at full speed. Uh, and you have a little run button here. So I don't know. It's weird. Uh, I guess it I guess it doesn't matter too much. The overall movement isn't an important part of the game. It's about combat, really. And the combat's really solid. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you get to play more than three cards in a turn at some point, because they talked about a chain being at least three cards. There's probably a, a way to keep it going and make a really long chain that does something super cool. Uh, but I haven't gotten that far, because I'm still only about an hour into the game. Um, overall, I really like what I'm seeing here. I'm just a little frustrated about the level design being so corridor-y rather than having, you know, a nice big open world you can explore. Uh, it's possible that they fix that later on, though. Like, it might just be, you know, a couple of introductory chapters, and then you get to head out into the world. Since there's this big world map, it's very possible that it actually branches out and you get to explore more stuff later. Uh, hopefully that's what happens, so we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Apart from that, I like this game, and I would recommend checking it out if you like role-playing games, or Steam World games, or uh, deck-building card games, or uh, cute robot girlfriend games, uh, then I would encourage all of those, because that that's the thing that this game has. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a good idea of what Steamworld... What's this game even called? Steamworld Quest. Steamworld Quest 
uh, Hand of Gilgamesh is all about, uh, and hopefully you have an idea of whether you want to play it or not, uh, based on what you saw. Because, <sighs> uh, you know, that's what I'm trying to do here, give you a bit of, of an impression of how I feel about the game, what parts I like, what parts I don't. I really love uh, Copernicus' design. Look at that skirt. Look at that cutie. Look at this. Look at this really cute girl uh, with her with her glasses and her and her thoughtful expression. What a nerd. Um, the animation is also really nice. Look at how like smoothly it's mo she's moving as you wander around. It's really good. I don't know if this is actually running at like 60 frames or 30 or whatever. I'm not really good at noticing that kind of thing, but it looks good to me, so. <laughs> um, you can probably check out the video and figure out if it's running at 60 or 30, since I'm recording at 60, so if it's 30, there'll just be two identical frames in a row, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, li I really like the look of this game. I'm The only thing that's really worrying me is how linear parts of it seem to be, but I'm guessing because of the, all the stuff we're seeing here, with different like weapons and maps and all these different kinds of things we can collect to do stuff, it might actually open up later on, uh, which would be really cool. Um, and I'm hoping that happens. Oh, it's, it's, um, <sighs> the the other Steam World games are both like are all very open. Um, the two Metroidvania ones are obviously the Metroidvania games, so you have a lot of different things you can do. Um, SteamWorld Heist, turn-based strategy, like I said, but you have a bunch of different quests you can choose to do at any given time, which basically take you to different scenarios, and so you've got a lot of openness there too. Uh, this one, so far it feels a bit linear, but that could just be because we're in the introductory chapters. Hopefully it opens up, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, that parallax effect there looks nice too. <laughs> it's very minor, but it looks nice. Um... Anyway, yeah, I like the look of this game. Um, I'm, I would recommend giving it a go if you like, uh, you know, role-playing games or deck-building games or games with cute robot girls or games that are Steam World games because it's using the whole Steam World aesthetic with all the nice things that those games have, despite being a different game. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope this gave you an idea of what the game's like. Or at least what I think the game's like, based on my first hour of or so of gameplay. Uh, a little bit less than an hour, according to that. A little bit more than... A little like, still a little bit less than an hour, according to my time. A bit close. Anyway. Bye!